Hello everybody, I'm Giovanni Schneider and first of all I'd like to apologize because uh, I feel quite uncomfortable talking to myself in front of a computer screen and it's even harder to do so in a foreign language. Our company, the Schneider Group, has been exporting a super fine Australian wool since it has been founded by my grandfather in 1922. Today we operate four combing mills around the world and we're also active in other businesses dealing other very special natural fibers such as cashmere, silk, vicuna, alpaca and so on. I was happy to be invited to say a few words at the Parkdale Paul Marino Star event because we're all here for the same purpose. We want to make wool an animal friendly fiber. Musing has been the biggest threat to our industry for over 20 years. It is not up to us to decide whether mulesing is right or wrong. The market has already decided and most brands declared that they will abandon mules wool by 2025. In 2004, Australian wool industry promised to phase out the practice of mulesing by 2010. Yet, as of today, over 80% of the growers still practice it. That's why Australian wool lost its reputation as the best wool in the world and today South American wool, which is far inferior in terms of quality, sells at a premium simply because of its better animal welfare credentials. Times are hard, but the reason for the drop in demand of wool product is not only related to the COVID-19. Even before coronavirus, industry leaders were quite pessimistic about 2020. Sales for classic menswear, menswear have been uh, dropping for 12 years now. And classic menswear is where a lot of wool is used. Unfortunately, smart working is not helping us to get the industry back in shape. Compensating the volume lost with new products, it's quite challenging. Sportswear and knitwear could offer an opportunity but they are extremely price sensitive. So we must convince our customer to appreciate wool and to be prepared to pay a higher premium for a more sustainable material, but we have a very weak spot, which is so easy to attack because it is incredibly visual. Nobody wants to see a bleeding lamb. And in the world of social media, a picture worth more than a thousand words. But today, despite all these difficulties, we're offered a new chance. This pandemic taught us that pollution, economic crisis and viruses have, have no boundaries. We are all sharing the same planet and it's time to act in order to protect it for ourselves and for our children. Fast fashion is a consumer driven industry which contributes for over 20% of the total greenhouse gas emissions. And they are now facing a very big challenge because their customers are becoming more and more aware of the side effect on the planet of their compulsive shopping habits. Ultimately, people will buy less and focus more on higher quality and more sustainable products. Wool and animal fibers altogether represent less than 1.5% of all the fiber consumed globally. Our market share have never been this low, and that's why even in a shrinking market, we still have a huge potential to grow. But how can we imagine to finally increase our market share, which is something we've tried to do for a long time, if we keep working the same old way? We must emerge as a sustainable, traceable, open and cooperative industry and solve issues like animal welfare, sustainability and decarbonization before anyone else does. We must learn to get together and cooperate as each one of us individually is too small to drive any change. We have been told to ignore animal welfare organizations and we've done it for 15 years with very, very poor results. Today, we must completely change the strategy and start listening to what they want sit down and find a solution together. Quality is still important, but today quality goes beyond what could be tested by the Australian Wool Testing Authority. Quality means passion, 
means commitment, means heritage, means sustainability, and a lot of other things. We should stop thinking wool as a commodity, because if we can't do that, we can't expect our customers to do so. This is why I've accepted Don's invitation to share my thoughts with all of you. First of all, I want all of you to stay in business, and I want all of you to be able to attract an extra premium for a better and more sustainable fiber. Thanks a lot for your patience. Thanks a lot for listening to me, and I wish you a great event. Bye-bye from Italy.